Good morning ladies and gentlemen, David here and welcome back to another video and this one is going to be about a topic that people keep talking about online, Fire Emblem and a potential Fire Emblem 4 genealogy of the Holy War remake. So today what I want to do is I want to give you guys all the information that is out there and to be clear, nothing in this video should be taken as official because a Fire Emblem 4 remake has yet to be confirmed by Nintendo and Intelligent Systems. This video is pretty much a gathering of information about every reliable leak and rumored information that I found about a potential Fire Emblem 4 remake, which a lot of people believe is absolutely a thing. All the information shared in this video will be linked in the description, so I'm always linking my sources in the description, so make sure you go ahead and look at the information yourself if you're interested. And what I'm going to do today is I'm going to start by going over all the reliable info and leaks that we have on the game, give you guys, give you guys dates and explanation about them. Then I'll move on to evidence and clues that are leading me to believe that this remake is indeed real, so stuff that isn't necessarily a leak or rumor, but actual information that, hey, you can see and to me is a hint that a potential Fire Emblem 4 remake could be in the works. And then we're going to end the video with, hey, what if it is indeed real, when is Nintendo and Intelligent System going to release? To reveal it, what makes sense, what makes sense in terms of a reveal, what makes sense in terms of a release as well. So if you enjoyed the video, a thumbs up helps, and if you're into weekly RPG content or you're at the right place, please consider subscribing. Now let's start with the actual leaks and rumors. So, in 2022, before Fire Emblem Engage was officially revealed, a well-known Nintendo leaker slash industry insider called Emily Rogers went online and leaked a bunch of very accurate details about Fire Emblem Engage. Now, a unknown Reddit user basically shared her info again, so what Emily Rogers already shared, he shared again, and added information on top of it that was indeed accurate for Fire Emblem Engage, info that turned out to be true. Plus, this person had actual screenshots of Fire Emblem Engage, which I cannot show on today's video. Well, I'd rather not show, to be safe. But he had those pictures. Um, and that was, again, before Fire Emblem Engage was revealed, which leads me to believe that this information is definitely... Well, it came from somewhere, right? Now, this person also said that a Fire Emblem 4 remake is indeed in development. So the person who had accurate information on Engage and pictures, leaked pictures of the game before it was even a thing, this person said the remake is a thing. Now, sometimes leakers, I want to say this, sometimes leakers, they have actual info that is real info, like this person had with Engage, since they had screenshots that we now know is real because... The game's on the shelf, right? Sometimes these leakers are going to put other information in their leak that they're not necessarily as sure about. So this could be the case here for FE Remake, but throughout this video you'll see there's just a ton of smoke that really leads me to believe that there's indeed a fire somewhere. Now the other thing that I want to talk about is still related to the original leak by Emily Rogers. She also said that everything that Content creator and again, industry insider Nate DeHate said about this project was true. Nate DeHate said prior that a Fire Emblem 4 remake was in development for 3DS and then said that the remake was actually pushed to the Nintendo Switch after it coming out and it being so popular. Now, Nate DeHate is a content creator that I like myself. His podcast is very entertaining and very informative. I highly recommend you guys check him out. Link is going to be in the description. But he keeps talking about the Fire Emblem 4 remake. He does so very often. The last time that he talked about this is actually two months ago. In his June 2024 Nintendo Direct's predictions video, he said, hey, I think Fire Emblem 4 remake could be there. Now, we obviously know at this point that it wasn't there, but still, this person is well known in the industry for having information and for knowing stuff behind the scenes, and he predicted that, hey, this Fire Emblem 4 remake that I'm confident about, maybe it's going to be there. I'm not sure what Nintendo's waiting for to reveal it, because it is indeed a thing. So, again, adds to the credibility of a potential Fire Emblem 4 remake. Now, if we go back even further in the past, we're going to see, let's say we go back to November of 2019. You can see there was a podcast, the Kind of Funny Games show hosted a podcast where they had a guest, Imran Khan, which is a very 
notable industry insider as well. And he is actually the former Game Informer senior ed editor, so clearly has contacts in the industry. He said that Nintendo and Intelligent Systems have another Fire Emblem remake in development, potentially for Nintendo Switch. That was said, um, again, in 2019, so two years after Echo Shadows of Valentia was out. So this is what he referred to when saying they have another remake in development. So not specifically pointing for, but still. Now, some people will probably tell me about this in the comment if I don't talk about it, but I decided in today's video not to share certain information out there about leaks and rumors because I think it's not reliable enough. For example, Zippo is a leaker in the industry. He has a blog and he uh, keeps talking about a Fire Emblem 4 remake. I am not considering it for today's video simply for the reason that this person it really feels like they just constantly throw shit at a wall and hope it sticks, right? They talk about a bunch of things and most of it never comes out to be true. Be careful about the information that you're seeing online too, guys. Know your sources. So I wouldn't count on this specifically. That's why I decided not to uh, describe it more in this video. Now, those were the leaks slash rumors that were out there. Now, let's look at the evidence and clues that are leading me to believe that a Fire Emblem 4 remake could be in the works for sure. In Fire Emblem Engage, you can actually collect rings that are your emblems, so your characters from previous games, that is actually a thing. And the second ring that you get in the game is Sigurd, the protagonist of Fire Emblem 4. But he is also the most important emblem in the game after Marth. And there's even a section near the end of the game where this character is very, very important. And why all this focus on a character that people in the West don't even know? It's crazy that they gave this character such important, knowing full well that it's not even a character that people worldwide know. Because Fire Emblem 4 is a Japan exclusive game. So very interesting stuff. You know, Marth being the most prominent character in the game makes sense other than the, the real protagonist, right? But Sigurd, it's curious. And if you remember the, the, the rumors that I talked about, this rumor has been in development or has been talked about or on the table for so long, even before Engage was really a thing. Engage was a 30th anniversary project, so it really leads me to believe that Engage was supposed to release after this FE4 remake. For some reason, it didn't happen. Or, hey, maybe uh, the FE4 remake is ask actually scrapped. I think that is... That is a search that thing that is a possibility. If that's the case, that's why there was such an emphasis on Sigurd as a character in the Engage game, which was the 30th anniversary game, right? Now, a simple clue or a simple hint is simply the fact that Fire Emblem 4, in terms of remakes, is next in line. Fire Emblem 1 and 3 were remade for the Nintendo DS. 3 never came out in the West, but that was before Fire Emblem got popular in the West. That was before Fire Emblem Awakening. Fire Emblem 2 is actually Echoes, Shadows of Valentia, which came out in 2017. The original was already remade also on the DS, as I said before. So 4 would be next in line. Plus, from my understanding, it is actually a fan favorite amongst Fire Emblem fan. Now, I consider myself a Fire Emblem fan for sure. I played all games that came out in the West except the second Warrior game, Warriors game. So I think I'm a pretty good Fire Emblem fan, but I'm not hardcore into this community of people who are actually into Fire Emblem. And these people, I, if you guys are watching, comment, but I really do feel like out of the games that are not in the out in the West, FE4 is the fan favorite from my understanding. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Now, when would a Fire Emblem 4 remake be revealed? Now, if you ask me, it can happen at any time, but I honestly think that it could be there at the next Nintendo Direct, especially if there really is a Nintendo Direct in September. Why? Well, because right now the Nintendo Switch is near the end of its life. Rumors of Nintendo Switch 2 are always a thing daily. There's new leaks and rumors about the Nintendo Switch 2 daily online. Now, an FE4 remake is a title that would be a great late Nintendo Switch title. If you didn't hear the latest rumor, apparently the Nintendo Switch 2 is delayed out of Q1 2025, which was the rumored release date for it. It's actually going to be later in 2025 that this system is going to release. So Nintendo is going to need 
games for it. If it was not at the latest June Direct, it could be because it is a early 2025 game, the remake. Meaning that if they reveal it in September, it could be Nintendo's February game for next year or March game for next year. Hell, Fire Emblem Echoes Shadows of Valentia was a late Nintendo 3DS game. It came out in 2017 when the Switch was already out. So think about it for a second. FE4 Remake could be the Echoes games that we had on 3DS. It makes a ton of sense to me. But this is just obviously pure speculation on my hand. So what do you guys think on this one? When would Nintendo reveal a Fire Emblem 4 Remake? I know I'm going to be there day one whenever that happens. I've loved Echoes Shadows of Valentia. I think that is one of the best games in the Fire Emblem franchise for sure. So I'm really excited to see what they do with this one with this fan favorite. Of, of people here. So thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you liked it. Bye.